As, a, as we mentioned earlier, we might have a surprise special guest, and I will, uh, I'm happy to announce that he has arrived. The Deputy Undersecretary for Health, Dr. Lieberman, um, is going to join us for a, a keynote address. Just a bit about Dr. Lieberman, and you notice that I will follow a bio for him, which is very well acclaimed. <laughs> Dr. Lieberman, I have not been following bios for others. So uh, Dr. Lieberman has over 25 years of experience with VHA as a board certified physician in pulmonary and critical care medicine, as well as leadership roles, including associate chief of staff for quality management and deputy chief of staff at VA Boston Healthcare System and chief of staff at VA New Jersey Healthcare System. As the deputy undersecretary for health, Dr. Lieberman leads clinical policies and programs Prior to that role as Assistant Deputy Undersecretary for Health for Access to Care, Dr. Lieberman provided executive leadership and strategic direction and oversight for the transformation of veteran access to health care within VHA. He was responsible for operational policies regarding clinical management and related to access, scheduling, consult management, and wait times. Thank you so much, Dr. Lieberman, for being with us. Well, good afternoon. <laughs> it's nice to see a lot of friends uh, here and uh, really uh, important topic and uh, just really appreciate all of you that are here today, those from VA, those from outside of VA. Uh, I've already heard from folks uh, that, that I work with at, at VA headquarters about how great this conference is and that they're like, you should head over and check it out. So, uh, so I'm glad that I am here. Uh, throughout my career, I have continued to be impressed uh, by the ability of this uh, organization to innovate and bring cutting edge healthcare to uh, veterans as well as to the nation. And uh, VA uh, certainly boasts a history of innovation much longer than, than even I've been here. And I've been here a, you know, a good time, as you heard. Actually, been here even longer than 25 years. But uh, from the, the cardiac pacemaker, kidney transplant, nicotine patches, uh, three Nobel Prize winners, uh, innovation is, is truly in our uh, DNA. Our immersive technology, including virtual and augmented reality, uh, is yet another product of that DNA. Already, we are defining a new reality in healthcare, leveraging VR and AR to treat veterans, experiencing a variety of health challenges, uh, reducing employee burnout, and improving training experiences. In fact, uh, immersive technologies are augmenting the implementation of each of our six uh, top VA healthcare priorities. And as we aim to hire faster and more competitively, our first uh, of our priorities, VA Immersive is bringing immersive technology to VA staff to enhance employee well-being and prevent burnout. Employee well-being rooms began incorporating virtual reality in 2020 to help address employee burnout. And the feedback is that it is working. At Orlando VA, healthcare system of 106 participants who used VR in the employee well-being room during the survey period of that group, 93% reported that their stress was reduced and 91% reported feeling more relaxed. Uh, VA Immersive also supports retention by augmenting clinical education and training by decentralizing the approach to training and education, expanding access to educators, trainers, and team members across the country. It is much easier to multiply headsets than to multiply clinicians. Immersive technology also enables VA to augment clinical staff to improve health care, realizing an opportunity to leverage technology to give veterans access to the soonest and best care. For example, a 16-site pilot is evaluating the first multi-site implementation of an at-home VR platform. Relieve VRX is an eight-week seven minute per day, not, not much time, VR experience that is FDA authorized for at-home 
chronic low back pain management. In addition to identifying best practices for dissemination of this technology, VA will evaluate the ability of this platform to demonstrate a decrease in pain intensity and pain interference. Improvements in mood, sleep quality, and self-directed engagement with care. It will also identify barriers and facilitators to VR for at-home care, which will help inform strategies for equitable rollout of these technologies. Our teams have also begun incorporating VR into our efforts to get all veterans in our system screened for toxic exposures. In July of 2023, the Gulf Coast Veterans Healthcare System in Biloxi, network director uh, sitting there, Sky McDougall, uh, uh, offered a virtual reality to veterans waiting for their toxic exposure screening to lower anxiety and increase engagement. Today, VA Immersive is evaluating use of virtual reality to decrease anxiety related to completion of radiological evaluation for veterans who require additional evaluation following toxic exposure screening. To accelerate VA's journey to high reliability, another priority for us, you guessed it, we are leveraging immersive technology. Moments That Matter is an empathy building immersive experience based on insights from veteran patients and designed to inform and empower staff and ultimately improve inpatient experiences at VA medical centers. The day in the life experience presents the veteran patient's perspective of the discharge journey. It highlights several moments that matter, emphasizes practices such as commit to sit and incorporates VEO's patient discharge checklist. Employees who have experienced this training have come away with a new understanding of the discharge process from the veteran point of view, supporting the HRO process improvement pillar. One employee candidly reflected, telling us, I felt so frustrated during the whole process, which inspired me to learn to do things differently. So it's working. Immersive technology engages the senses of sight, sound, and touch to bring a new level of engagement to each veteran's healthcare experience and improve their whole health. Thanks to collaboration across the enterprise, VA is now offering VR-based creative arts therapy at 73 sites to provide individualized and personalized opportunities for improving veterans' reintegration, adaption, coping, and general well being. Finally, we are leveraging immersive technology for our top clinical priority that is, preventing veteran suicide. We are launching single and multi site pilots to assess 40 extended reality use cases, including mental health and post-traumatic stress disorder. These include the development and piloting of veteran-specific virtual reality content to decrease pain and suicidal ideation, and pilot lethal means safety, counseling, and firearm safety training for our employees. As you can tell, use of immersive technology in, in healthcare is not about the future of healthcare. It is about healthcare today, and VA is truly leading the way. As immersive technology continues expanding across our healthcare system, VA is looking to develop more customized, veteran-specific content, integrate biometric tracking for personalized experiences, and nationally standardized and scaled use. In five to 10 years, we will see immersive technology being as common as things, and this is in healthcare, such as cell phones, tablets, other personal devices, expanding access and increasing engagement for a diverse population of patients. So we are also eager to identify features 
that ensure diversity, equity, and inclusion in content and experiences as this technology scales. As the largest integrated healthcare system in the nation, we have the exciting potential and uh, responsibility to scale technology like VR. Throughout VA Immersive, we are defining a new reality in healthcare and reinforcing why veterans and staff choose VA. Like any healthcare advancement, immersive technology requires commitment and resources, and collaboration is the catalyst to success. Opportunities like this summit are critical for spurring collaboration among industry, government, veteran service organizations, and academic leaders to introduce and produce the best hardware and content that places the patient at the center of the design. So thank you again for being here today and, and this week, and thank you for your commitment to those that have served. I'm excited to see how this week's engagements creates a new reality in healthcare for veterans and the nation. Thank you very much.